I think kayaking is the best sport in the world. There are so many different sides to this sport, from cruising around on a lake, to chasing waterfalls, to getting amongst it in the ocean, and everything in between. But no matter what side of the sport you're interested in, it all starts out the same way. Getting out on the water for your first time. But before we do that, we're gonna need some equipment. This is my usual kayaking setup for the types of kayaking that I like to do, where advanced safety features and protection from cold water are really important. But we don't need all of this when we're just getting started, and so instead, I'm gonna use some quality beginner gear from Palm Equipment. This setup will provide us with everything we need to go kayaking for our first time and beyond that. Neoprene layers to keep us warm if we fall in the water, thermal to help keep our core warm, dry top to keep the wind off us, buoyancy aid to help us stay afloat, helmet, a little bit overkill for our first time kayaking on a lake, but never a bad idea to wear one, so we'll wear the helmet. And then this is the spray deck, which I think is the piece of equipment that, that people are most intimidated to use. Some people will have no interest in doing anything more in this sport than cruising around a lake in the sun, and that's absolutely fine. But if you want to get out onto some rougher water, then the spray deck is the gateway to that. It seals off the kayak, stops water from getting in, and keeps the kayak light and maneuverable, allowing you to do all sorts of fun things out on the river or the ocean. If you want to get out of your kayak while wearing your spray deck, there's a few methods we can use to release the spray deck. Number one is to use the pull tab. It can be a little bit difficult to coordinate yourself underwater, especially the first few times, and to know where you are. What we're gonna do when we're underwater and we wanna get out is to feel for our knees in the kayak and try and touch them with our hands. From there, you're gonna feel the, the spray deck on your hands. You're gonna slide your hands forward until you feel the different material of the pull tab. Then you're gonna pull it and release the spray deck and you'll fall straight out of your kayak. If you're having trouble finding your way underwater and finding that pull tab, don't panic because what we can do is reach for the side of the spray deck, which should be easier for you to grab because you don't have to go as far forwards. And with a little bit of strength, just rip it off from the side. The third method, if you can't find the side of your spray deck or the grab handle, is to simply take your knees out from the side of your kayak into the center and use your knees to pop the spray deck off and you'll fall straight out. It's, not, it's really, truly not anywhere near as scary as a lot of people make out and think. And uh, it's a really, really amazing piece of equipment and it really just opens doors to you in this sport. So I highly recommend just right from the beginning getting used to wearing a spray deck and not making a big deal out of it. Okay, that's all of our gear sorted out. Now for choosing a kayak. This is not a good beginner kayak in any way. It's made for doing tricks, going down rapids, and sometimes off waterfalls. I have it because that's the type of kayaking that I like to do, but it is not good for learning how to kayak in. The beginner kayaks that I would recommend are the Piranha Ion and the Piranha Fusion. Those are two amazing beginner kayak designs with brilliant build quality from Piranha. And we're gonna need a paddle. Again, this is not a good option for a beginner. The blades are really big, it's made entirely out of carbon fiber, and so there's no flex in it. And if you're not used to kayaking, it's gonna tire you out really quickly. My top pick for an affordable beginner paddle is the Palm Drift. Paddles come in a bunch of different options. The most important is to choose whether you get a left-handed or a right-handed paddle based on whether you're left or right-handed. You want the, the scoop, of the blade to be facing you so that it catches the water as you're taking your forward stroke. Most paddles will have a bit of a cutaway on the bottom corner and you want that to be on the bottom and then you know it's the right way up. Paddles also have what's called a feather and that, that means that the blades are offset from, from each other and you'll have to take a slight twisting motion to line up the blade on one side to get the correct angle for your forward strokes. It sounds complicated and a lot's going on but you'll figure it out really quickly. Just do what feels right on the water. If you feel one blade slicing through that means that you need to add in a little bit more of a twist and to get the blade to line up to a nice angle for a good a good pull on your forward stroke. Okay that's it we have everything we need 
a little bit of an idea about how to use it, let's go kayaking for our first time. Little bit of a steep entry here down to the lake. We could walk all the way down, put our kayak in the water and climb in like this. Or we could get in the kayak at the top and slide down. Most kayaks will have a footrest and a backrest in them. You want to have contact with both of them. You want to be able to feel the footrest on your feet and you want to feel the backrest just a little bit. Putting your spray deck on, on your own, is a rite of passage in kayaking. It takes a while to learn how to do it. You might need a friend to help you for your first time or two. Um, make sure it's hooked on at the back. Keep your arms wide and then stretch it to the top and let it snap over. Make sure it's fully on at the sides and then that's it. We're ready to go. Make sure all your equipment is properly adjusted, nice and tight, and that's it. We're about to get on the water for our first time. Honestly, just enjoy the feeling of being out on the water. Paddle around, have fun, see another side of the lake, try kayaking in a figure of eight, do as you like. There's a lot to this sport and I'm not gonna overcomplicate things in this video but here are a few tips that should help you out for your first time in a kayak. Pull your knees up to the top of the kayak. This activates your core and helps to keep the kayak locked in a stable position and allows you to transfer the movement from your body into the kayak more efficiently. You don't need to pull up on your knees with too much force here. Just a little bit will do. We want to try and take long, smooth, calm strokes with the paddle not short aggressive dabs at the water. As with all sports, look where you want to go, not at the nose of your kayak. Your stance on the paddle depends on a lot of factors, but as a very general rule, if you put your hands up like this and your arms make sort of a 90 degree bend at the elbow, then you're probably on the right track. A basic principle of how your paddle works is that if it's vertical, it's a power stroke used for driving your kayak in a direction. If your paddle is down low and horizontal, then it's more of a sweeping, turning stroke. That makes a huge difference when you're first learning how to keep the kayak straight. But just know that as you progress in this sport and learn more, that rule sort of goes out of the window with more advanced techniques. If you feel the paddle going underneath the kayak, just let go and find it afterwards. If you keep holding on to it with both hands, then you're creating a crowbar movement which is useful at times for doing tricks, but not what we want when we're just starting out, because it normally means that you're gonna flip, which is not a big deal whether you can roll or not, and is all part of learning how to kayak. Honestly, I was trying to stay upside down here, but then out of habit, I ended up going with the momentum and rolling back up, so let's try this again. I do recommend at some point in your session, flipping over and getting out of your kayak. Mostly because in a setting like this it's pretty fun, but also to set our minds at ease that we're not going to get stuck in the kayak upside down. Okay, so there we have it, how to go kayaking for your first time. I should say that, the, that it is infinitely more fun and way safer to be out on the water with somebody else. And happily in this sport that's pretty easy to, to do. There are kayaking clubs, instructors, and fellow kayakers all around the world. So it's pretty easy to find someone to get out on the water with. And I really, truly recommend that. It's, it's way better to be out on the water with someone else. I hope that this video is useful to anyone that's looking to get into kayaking for their first time. Um, I honestly, I think it's the most amazing sport in the world and I love doing it and I have made some of the best friends and seen some of the most beautiful places all because of this sport. So it's really special to me and I hope you all have an amazing time out on the water. If you want to see more tutorials, comment below, let me know what I should film and cover next. And yeah, I'll catch you on the water guys.